All right, it's update time. I told you I'd do an update whenever the um, I got the plants in here. I've got um, got some lettuce here that was in the indoor aquaponics. It's starting to uh, see some new growth there on top. I don't know if you can or not, but it's looking pretty good. Um, basil. This was in the indoor aquaponics too, and the, the growth that's on top is is actually a lot greener than it was in the other one, so that's good. Um, then a bunch of tomatoes that were also in the indoor aquaponics. I got, let's see, Jet Setter, Gardener's Delight, cherry, that's a cherry variety, um, Early Girl, and Brandywine, and, and one other one, oh, um, Better Boy hybrid. And these are Husky Cherry Red. This one's got some flowers all over it. And let's see, this is Mucho Nacho, Jalapeno, Kung Pao, Thai Hot, Another Thai Hot. And that one is the same as that one. It has big bell peppers on it. I came out here just a minute ago, and it was really easy to see the fish and now I stirred it all up and you can't see anything let me see if I can get one of them to swim by here Anyway, there's about, I don't know, about eight or ten of them, probably about eight inches. Um, they're, uh, I don't know what they are, they're either like hybrids, like bluegill um, hybrids or, or something, maybe green sunfish hybrids, I, I don't know, but they're, um, they're definitely not like copper nose bluegill. Anyway, um, I caught those in the pond behind my house. These are getting ready, getting ready to be done. I picked a bunch of these hot peppers off the other day, and there's a bunch of them that are starting to turn red again. And those are extremely hot. You guys want to try them? They're nice. My wife does a lot of Asian cooking and uh, Thai cooking. These are um, flavor burst peppers, and they turn like orange at first, and then yellow from green. And they're the best bell peppers I've ever had. Really sweet. Anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it for right now. I mean, I'm still kind of observing what's going to happen. Obviously, this is not going to go throughout the winter. These plants will die. The only thing I'll probably, I did plant some seeds over here too, broccoli, cabbage, cilantro. But, you know, most of this stuff is going to is going to die off. I mean, the peppers and the tomatoes, like during the nighttime, it gets too cold in here, so they'll die. But um, I'm just kind of observing the temperatures and seeing what uh, what I can actually grow in here year round, if anything. And that's why I still got the tilapia inside, and I've got the bluegill out here. Oh, and there was I was going to tell you too. <laughs> I didn't. I'm still trying to figure out how to feed these things because I had put um, I had put the Pur Purina Aquamax stuff in here, and that you know they didn't eat it, and it just went to the bottom and started rotting. So I had to take all that out, scoop it out, and. Uh, so then I just put some goldfish in there. I put about 20 of them, actually 18, because I bought 20, and I put two of them in the inside, where I keep, I'm keeping one of the bluegill inside, and those are, disappeared. <laughs> so they so they know how to eat uh, little goldfish. But anyway, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out something. If you guys got any suggestions on how to convert convert these guys to eating um, commercial food, then I will gladly hear those suggestions. Um, other than that, I guess I'm going to call that it for this update. Let me know if you got any questions. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Peace.